Where do you think the market's headed in 2022? On today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about where the market's headed based on the experts that we follow, which would include people like Tom Ferry, Brian Buffini, and even the National Association of Realtors. Last week, we talked about where the numbers fell here locally in Pittsburgh. So let's start off with a little bit of how the numbers fell nationally with some averages and some statistics about 2021. First of all, there are 1.5 million realtors in the United States. Now, there's a lot more people who are licensed and we'll go into licensed realtor versus uh, just an agent, another episode. But there are 1.5 million realtors in the marketplace right now across the United States. That is uh, up because when the market's hot, people come into the market because they think it's easy to sell real estate. Now, when the market cools, There's going to be a big, massive exodus of all those people who are just in there to ride this wave. Now, because of all these new people that came into the market and as realtors, the average experience went from nine years to eight years. That's a huge drop to go from one year to the next of years of experience, um, average years of experience. So, you know, when we say who you work with matters, it really does. Uh, You know, Sharon's been in the business for nearly 20 years uh, and our combined experience with everybody, we're well over 40 years. Uh, So again, we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about what's going to happen in 2022. But again, let's keep moving with a little bit of national stats on 2021. Six million homes were sold across the country. That is up about three or four percent from last year to 2020 to 2021. Uh, And so that's pretty fantastic. 34 percent of buyers were first time buyers. That's pretty cool. And 29 percent of home sales were either at or over the asking price last year. And then the average buyer actually looked at eight homes before they were able to make an offer and get one to stick. And then days on market in 2021 nationally was about 30 days, which in a normal market, it's usually 60 to 75 days. So for the average days on market to be that low, that's amazing. So last year, 2021, fantastic year. But where are we headed now? What's going to happen in 2022? Obviously, no one has a crystal ball. No one knows exactly what's going to happen. But here's what we're hearing from the experts like Tom Ferry, Brian Buffini, and the National Association of Realtors and other people that we listen to. Interest rates are going to creep up. It's it's you know it's inevitable right now they're at historic lows and even if they do creep up experts are saying that it could get to 3.75 maybe some people are cautioning on the high side that it could go to 4% by the end of the year which is still a, almost half of the 30 year national average of interest rates so still below 4% interest rates that's like free money so Don't be scared that the interest rates are going to go up, but if you are conscious of your price point and your mortgage payment, make your decisions quicker. In Q1, Q2, reach out to us and make sure you want to get jumping on a house now before those rates continue to creep up. Inflation is going to lessen the buying power of a lot of people because the way it's going to work is as the cost of everything goes up, the cost of everything is going up and therefore you're going to be able to buy less it's not just the price of houses it's not just interest rates it's the price of gas it's the price of milk it's the price of lumber it's the price of everything that is going to make everybody's buying power a little bit different the inventory is going to grow so inventory has been at historic low levels it's going to stay very very solid but it is gonna grow. Now, why is it gonna grow? What are people saying of why it's gonna grow? It's gonna grow because there are some people who unfortunately did lose their jobs and haven't had to move out of their house because they were getting money. The government was just giving you money so you didn't have to move out. Another government program was forbearance. Those two things are gone now. 
So people who were in those types of situations may be looking to sell so they don't lose their house into foreclosure or short sale or anything like that. So that's going to be two of the reasons why. Another reason is new construction is going to be on the rise. Even with the price of lumber where it is, new construction is still going to be a continuing trend of, you know, if there's not enough houses on the market, you got to build one because that's an easy solution to find a house. Now, how is this going to affect the market in its segments? So with the rising cost of everything, it's going to obviously affect the first time home buyers the most because that is going to you know squeeze their pennies and when you're a first time home buyer typically now not not all first time home buyers some people don't buy a house until they're you know able to pay cash for it but that's not the typical first time home buyer first time home buyers typically under 30 years old and they're squeezing together the money to make that payment happen so as interest rates and as inflation goes up their moving or their buying power is going to lessen now, how is that going to affect everyone else? The person who's in that move up stage, so they already bought their first house and now they're looking to maybe get a bigger house. Maybe they're looking to downsize the house because they've been in it for 30 years and now they want less steps. There's, you know, the next, that next step person is also going to be affected because the first time home buyer isn't going to be able to look at their house uh, as strong. Now, one other end of the market is the high end market here in Pittsburgh. You know, that's a small percentage of what is that makes up our bulk of our inventory, but the high end market should stay strong. Uh, and that's what the experts are saying nationally, just because the high end market, those people are typically invested in other things and they weren't relying on the, you know, the government money and they weren't relying on those types of things. They're heavily invested in the stock market, which was doing well. And so therefore, the high-end market should stay very strong according to everyone we're hearing now prices will still be on the rise but just it's going to be slower you're not going to see the crazy booms that we saw now here in pittsburgh you all know that pittsburgh does not see crazy booms one way or the other so that is fortunate for us to be sheltered here in a very stable market which is fantastic but prices will continue to rise and one of the things that everyone's saying is invest now invest 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 so if you're looking to in you know expand your investment portfolio or just add a couple of properties or just start one because you don't have one already now is the time to invest in real estate and you know it's one of those things where you know warren buffett the owner of berkshire hathaway who i'm very proud to work for has been a very solid investment in real estate and has a very nice portfolio so if he's doing it why shouldn't everybody else be doing it if you want to buy an investment property if you're thinking about selling a house in 2022 and you want to know how everything i just talked about is going to affect your neighborhood you specifically reach out to me reach out to somebody on my team but i hope that was a little bit of an insight for what we should expect in 2022 if you have any questions that you want to see on a future episode, reach out to me. My number is 412-965-6387 or reach out to someone on the team. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.